Hello, Turtle Monkey here. Today we're going to talk about these two different tubular lock picks. One from HPC and one from Southward. They are very similar in function and how they pick the lock, but uh, HPC has something a little different, a little extra on it that makes it a little bit better. Now they both have their different methods of picking locks and here I have two of the two, two different kinds of tubular locks. One is a switch, as you can see here, it actually connects to turn on a machine or something of that nature. And this one is more or less a trailer hitch. Uh, it slides into your trailer or your hitch for your trailer, and you lock it up and you're good to go. These are a little bit better to put on there than some of the other ones that have keys because those keys are usually three or four pins. But again, once you see this in action, you might rethink that category as well. Each one comes with this awesome decoder. So in case you lose the key, uh, you can get this tool, pick it, and decode it and make copies of that key or make a key for it. So that way you don't have to carry this thing around every time. So how do they work? Pretty simple. I'll use the South Order, for example, first, if I can get the plastic off of it. This little rubber cap to protect the feelers. This one, these are seven pin pick, they pick seven pin locks. So if you look in here, there should be seven of them, if I can get in focus. But these pick seven pins, because they only have seven feelers. Now they do make them in eight feeler, eight, <clears throat> eight pin picks as well. You have a tensioning tool right here. This tensions the followers down so they don't move. Or you tighten them down a little bit and they'll move just enough. Uh, for the south horde, this one has a way to zeroize it by using the spacer, uh, like washer right here. So what you do to zeroize a pick, you put it on a flat surface like my desk and push down. And that zeroizes all these. Or also they say you can push them down past, so you have the past the end of it and push down slightly. That way you don't bend them in and they're zeroized. And when I say zeroized, that means on this key it would be zero. And then you add a little bit of tension. Now this is where the HPC differs. This one has a press button. So you loosen your tension, you push the button, and push down. That's all you have to do. And add a little bit of tension there. I do that anyways just so they don't move around. But like I said, they both work the same way. And I'll use this one example. HPC's method is you press in the lock, you push it in flat, Make sure you push in evenly until it bottoms out. Then you give a little bit of tension on turning, and then if it doesn't pick it right then, you pull it out a six, uh, yeah, sixteenth of an inch out and press it back in and try again. You keep doing that until you pick it. The way South Orge works is you press it in and kind of rock it back and forth. And you'll see the feelers all kind of move into place until it opens. Now, these two are very different, and I believe they're different in security as well. Where this one isn't as difficult to pick, and this one is rather difficult. I could spend all day and probably pick this one five times. And I could sit here and pick this one as many times as I want within an hour. <laughs> this one's really easy to pick. First, you want to make sure you zeroize the pick. Add a slight bit of tension. Take your lock. Make sure you line it up with the key or the pin right there that goes in the top of the pin here in the little gap. Get it in the right spot and push it in. Then you try to turn it. If it doesn't turn right away, you rock it back and forth until it turns. See how that one turned? Now, be, if you get to turn the first time, you slide. Well, you might have to go back. Slide the pick out and tighten this puppy down pretty darn tight. That way, your followers don't move again. As you can see here, let me, I'll bring it up and zoom in or focus. Here we go. See how they are all kind of gapped? And that's the whole purpose. They find the right gapping that you need to make a key. So now simply slide it back in there and now you have a functioning, oh, let me get to focus for you. There you go. And now we have a functioning, let me show you, because it comes off the, we don't need that no more. But there you go. Now we have functioning. Now we can take our key right here and decode what size each one of those are, take it to a locksmith or a hardware store and get one made. That's how easy that one was. So now let's try it with the HPC. Oh, let me lock it back. I left it open. There we go. Now it's locked. So we'll try it again with the HPC. Make sure we zero eyes first. So on a flat surface, push all the followers forward. Then add a little bit of tension to the followers. Line it up just like that. There we go. And push forward. If you see it, all these pins moved. 
Here, I'll redo it so you can see. Add a little bit of tension. Now watch right here on these followers. Let me if I can get a piece of paper back there to see it. All these followers, each one will move individually when I push in. See how they all moved? Then we try to, and we'll, nope, and there it turns. If it turns, you pull it out and tighten that puppy down. And now you have a functioning key for it. And then you go just take it to our hardware store or wherever, get the code off of either key you want to use, depending on which one comes with it, and you got a functioning key. Like I said, this lock isn't that difficult to pick. Remember, always go back to where these line up, because if not, you're, once you get a key, you won't be able to slide it in there. So, just to prove to you that this lock does function normal, here's a key for the other one. It slides in there, but it doesn't do nothing. These are your two different tubular lock picks sold on lockpicks.com. So go check them out, put them in your cart, and pick them up today. They also make them in 8-pin as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, stay picked.